The Greens family, we are ready for another beautiful day in South Africa. And this is our wonderful tour guide and she's gonna introduce herself to us. Sunny Bonani. Sunny Bonani. Yebo. You have to say Yebo. Sunny Bonani. Yebo. My name is Kosi. Welcome to South Africa. My name is Kosi. I'm a Zulu woman. I was born and bred in Soweto. But originally my parents are from the one province in South Africa where there's a name and a surname, which is called KwaZulu Natali. That is in Deben. It's one of the provinces that we have in South Africa because we've got nine provinces in South Africa. So KwaZulu Natal in Deben, that's where you'll find the Zulu people. My name, it means the princess of my father. Oh. I'm the second daughter from my parents. We are three of us. I still live with my mother in Soweto with my four siblings and my three cousins. And I'm a mother to a very handsome baby boy. Oh, so I welcome everyone in South Africa. Thank you. Now we are moving, we are living in Johannesburg. This is around, this is Brown Fountain. We are now going to drive plus minus one hour, 30 minutes from here to go to Lisedi Cultural Village. Lisedi, it's a Sutu name. It means the light. So we're going to have the light today. Oh. We need all the light. Uh -huh. So at Lisedi Cultural Village, that's where you're going to be learning more about our culture. That's where they will take us on a, on a, on a tour. Before they start the tour, we're going to do the the intro around there, play some drums around there, they introduce themselves and then they tell us about the whole of the cultural village of Lisedi. That's where we'll go and do a tour about a one hour walking tour around there at Lisedi cultural village and then after we're going to have a nice buffet where you'll experience some of the African food around them. So you'll be visiting different houses around at Lisedi Cultural Village as you're going to be going to the Zulu people. I hope everyone has got their different clothes. I can see she's an African woman. <laughs> <laughs> so when you go to the Zulus, they'll be wearing some Zulu clothes and then they'll be explaining more about the Zulu cultures. Just like me, as I said, it, I'm a Zulu. As I'm wearing this, this is part of our culture. It's a goat skin. As Zulus, when, we, when we're getting married, or when you're doing a ceremony, or when you're changing a surname, you need to slot a code. That's part of us as Zulus. And also, if you are doing a ceremony that, because most of us were not born in Gauteng, where we are now, in one of the provinces. We were born in different provinces of South Africa. Our parents, they came here because they were looking for a better life and better jobs. So every year during December holidays now, and also Good Fridays, we go home. So we drive from Johannesburg to go to different provinces. So when we get home, we slot a goat to welcome and thank the ancestors. Because some of us, they believe in ancestors, some they don't. But most of the people in South Africa, they are still Christians. So as a Zulu person, we slot a goat, and then this is the uh, very expensive bracelet. You need to wear this to show that you did a ceremony when you are around in the home in KwaZulu Natal. But not all of them. Just like the Zulu people, we've got this uh, culture that you can marry more than one wife. Just like the, uh, the late, uh, not the late, the former president, Mr. Jacob Zuma, had six wives. But these days you need to know your pocket. Because if you are buying me a BMW, be my wife. So all of us, you need to buy us the be my wife. Wow, be my wife. Be my wife. Others, they said, uh, baby making weather. <laughs> so as we're going to be going, at least said, you're going to love it, ladies and gentlemen, because it shows you the culture of South African people as you, you won't be able to go to different provinces of South Africa. Because in South Africa, we've got 11 official languages. So as you're going to be at this city, you're going to be learning different languages and different cultures. We do have the one, one of the uh, difficult ones, Mr. Mandela tribe. Can anyone try it? You don't know it? Do you know? Yes, that's Tosa. Do you know the late Miriam Makeba? Yes. yes. Anyone know the song? Pata. 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 It's so simple. I want you guys to know the one that you click a lot. When, you, when you're clicking, they go, yes. The one says, Ikrikha lenjela, utuwangu kokotwan. 
Can you try that? <laughs> okay, let's try it. Ikrika. Ikrika. Lenzela. Gutiwa. Gutiwa. Gukokotwan. I love that. <laughs> so that's one of the difficult ones, especially. So people are saying that you need to have a girlfriend or boyfriend, the closer one, so that you can understand how to click. So it's one of the 11 official languages that is spoken in South Africa. Mm -hmm. But one of the official, uh, one of the common languages that is spoken here is Isizulu. This is Zulu. That is why when even when I get in, I said I greeted in Zulu because it's one of the languages. Even our neighboring countries, Swaziland, Botswana, and Lesotho people they can understand. This is Zulu. Then there's another one that is more. It's Sesotho. Sesotho. Most you find it at Lesotho in Bloemfontein in Free State in one of the provinces. Where when they greet, they say Dumelang. 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 That is hello in Sutu. And then in Kosa Mandela tribe, they said Molweni. Molweni. Don't worry, as long as you are still around in South Africa, you'll live with one souvenir, which is one of the common languages in South Africa. So here in Gauteng, in Johannesburg, where gold was discovered here, we're speaking more um, official, more plus eight to nine different languages because when you speak isi zulu you've got three languages which is zulu Hausa, and isi and, and swati it's more common mm. so this side on the left hand side this is this one is of beautiful. the guys, beautiful oh, houses they have oh. westcliff hotel there one of the expensive hotels mm. on the far left there the cream white one most of people when they come, especially like our Oprah Winfrey, when they visit in South Africa, they stay in that side. So in Johannesburg, it's more where you get more nature around here. Yeah? We do yeah, have the nice trees. Right yeah. We do have trees, like the purple trees, that we call them the Jacaranda trees, if you see them around. So in this area, because most of us, we are using public transport, when you come this side, of Rose Bank and Santin. You need to smile a lot in the public and do like this. <laughs> when you go to Santin on this area because they say that's where money is. Yeah, so you yeah, sign okay. it, you do like this. <laughs> so you smile a lot. So when you go where we're coming from because it's downtown in Johannesburg, you do like this, this is the sign. Not this one, oh, sorry. Yeah. This is for the nearest hospital. Yeah. So you must always remember this. Yeah. That's the one. Not the middle finger. Not the middle one. Yeah. This one is only for the taxi drivers. Uh, yes, and it's for the nearest hospital. So we're going to be driving one hour, 30 minutes from here, ladies and gentlemen. As we are moving around in the freeway here, there is not much to see around there because it'd be more like the places where for the events where you do your weddings, your conferences around there, and more nature around. Immediately when we get to Ilisedi, I'll be here around if you have any questions, ladies and gentlemen. Then when we're coming out from Lisedi, we're gonna come back from Bramfontein, not far from the hotel where you stay. We're gonna go and do the Constitutional Hill. That's where we're gonna be learning more about. The Const and it was a jail before, and then the women's jail around there. So now we use it as a Constitutional Court. So we're gonna learn more when we come back from the Lisedi. I hope you won't be tired because Lisedi is a very interesting, that's one of the tours that I love because I love my culture so much. So especially when I have brothers and sisters from an African American, they're going to love that place there. I wish we could have all be wearing our African different attires because in South Africa on the 24th of September, every year we call it a heritage month. So that's where we wear our different cultures uh, clothes and then we go to different places around. That day we don't eat McDonald's. We don't eat <laughs> Bella King. We shouldn't eat McDonald's at all. Yeah, we're Sorry. only eating our African food. Oh. But be careful when you're eating one of them, which is the chicken feet, because if you eat them, you'll run from here to Atlanta. <laughs> That's one of the favorite people that they love it. Some they cook it, some they do it as a barbecue. Oh. So tomorrow as you'll be visiting one of the townships, the biggest one which is uh, Alexandra, I'm kidding. So uh, to, you'll see most of the people there are doing that. They selling around in the street. Oh. So I hope you will enjoy it around. And then from in, here in Johannesburg, 
you speak most of Zulu, Kosa, and Tswana and, and Shangani. But as you're going to be going mostly in Cape Town, they're speaking more Africans. It's one of the language that the media of instruction, the kids of 1976, they did not want it. Remember when Jan van Riebeck, they mm -hmm. arrived in South Africa in 1652? Yeah. Because they were Dutch, so they were speaking most the Africans that side, and also they speaking Isikosa. Isikosa around in, in, in Cape Town. Mm -hmm. So you'll see the difference as you are in Johannesburg and also when you are in Cape Town. So unfortunately, I'm sorry, you won't see me after Cape Town. I wanted us, but you can write for me and tell me the difference between Gauteng and Cape Town. All right. And then here, everything that we do, we do local. Local as like we call that. Local as like that it means that everything that is local, you need to try it while you're still around. All right. So today, as we're driving, don't worry, I'm here. Oh. So as we're going to be driving, I'm going to be here. Now we are leaving the north of Johannesburg now, which is the Melrose Arc around here. And then... There's some fancy places in this Yes, yes. These are the fancy places around. The shopping malls that you'll find in the, in the, in the north. Not far from here, you'll see the one that is uh, Mandela. Mandela. There's Mandela Square with the Mandela statue here, where we call it in Santin. Even his home, it's not far from here, from Martin where he stayed here after divorcing Winnie when he married the third wife, which is Grasa Mashan. It's in here in Houghton. All right. How was your flight last night? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, it was but very long. 15, 15 hours. No, you know, I thought maybe it's going to be late because of the weather. I said, oh my God, I can. But the energy that we have, it's, it doesn't feel like you had a long uh, yeah. flight. It was then. Yeah. So it's your Christmas, you enjoyed it in South Africa. Where did you go last night? Um, oh. Going to Rosebank Mall, oh. with almost every restaurant that we wanted to go to was closed. It was closed. I'm, I'm sorry. You know what I was saying? I was saying, I wish you guys, you could have started in Cape Town, but we do it because of the itinerary. Because I know yeah, the, Cape the flight, Town. The flight, the flight into Johannesburg and then go to Cape Town. So oh. we, we, we get off in Johannesburg and then we're ready to go back. The flight leaves from Cape Town. Mm. Okay, because of, in Cape Town, I know most of the places are open. Yeah, like Cape Town, nothing. Yeah, as far as you know, restaurants, you know, they don't play around. They no, here the thing that uh, made made most of the business to be closed is because of the COVID. It did affect a lot of businesses, especially in tourism side. Okay. So some of the places they are closed because of the COVID, mm. and some they can't maintain it even if after the COVID. Mm. So that is why most of the places no, are. Yeah, yeah they are. The, yeah, the COVID it did affect, especially as in tourism. In other businesses, yes, they did manage to do it, but tourism, you know, there was no coming in, there was no uh, coming out. Yeah. So that is why even people in Johannesburg and Soweto, they trying to maintain that standard mm -hmm. so that the tourists can come to us in Johannesburg. Are we, are we going to stop by the uh, statue? The Mandela, the Mandela statue? No, not today. Well, maybe if we have time, we can we can we can stop on our way from this cultural village. We'll see how time goes along to run on your way. And yeah. that, that is in Santon, right? Yeah, it's here. Yeah, Mandela Santin. Square. Mandela Square. Never been there. Okay. Oh, so I have a question. Is, is there is there any monument of uh, Willie Mandela? There isn't. No, really? There isn't. It's, it's one old. of my one of my yeah. dreams to yeah. have it. It Especially be. in Soweto, yeah. because Mama Winnie she played a big role she did. for she us, did. for yes. everyone. Yes. You know, Winnie. even yes. if when they were saying that she did bad things, but Mama Winnie, she's one of the powerful and strongest women that yes. I know. Yes. I met yes. Winnie Mandela in Philly. Same is. So, oh, wow. it must a blessing, yes. man. Yes. Yes. so now they want yes. to turn her That's home to a museum ago. in Soweto, but they are still negotiating. So we wow. want that because that yeah. woman, she played a huge role. She, did, she, did. she nearly died for us. Yes. She did. So she it's one honor. of my... She did. It's her honor. She yes. Did. So we're hoping that they will open the museum from, uh, or a, a monument for Mama Wini. Yeah. Even if it's not in Soweto, but our dream is to have it in Soweto. Yeah. Even if it's around in, in 
in South Africa, but we need that for Mama. Yeah, they, have to work, they have to work on that. Oh, they, they have, have to. to. That's, yes. that's, that's a shame. Yeah, yeah she, shame. that woman, she, yeah. No. Even when she yeah. passed away, yeah. she was buried in, in Soweto. She said, I'm not going to go where I was born in Eastern Cape. Her funeral was in Soweto because she knew that her heart is in Soweto because yeah. of most of the families, they survived, the kids, they went to school because of Mama Winnie. Yes. So we're hoping for that. Beautiful. 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 She is. Let's keep the blessings strong. Oh, yes. So you draw 